Hello, are you having trouble finding PC parts or don't know where to start to build a PC? Here's some tips and ways on how you could find parts for any budget, what to do after putting it together, and additionally, how to probably save some money by reusing parts from any computer. It really depends on what you want the budget to be. Most computers can cost as much as a next-gen console or even double to triple that or less than a next-gen console. If you're trying to do light gaming, office work, and editing, really like playing the competitive games because most competitive games should have very minimum requirements, you could just look for lower-end parts or mid-tier parts. If you want something that's better performing and faster, then look into better parts like high-end parts. Another good website to check all these parts is to use PC Part Picker. There are many things that you can do, like using the system site builder or look for computers on that site. There will be some few PCs that we're going to put in the description, but you can put all the parts that you have and see if they are compatible with it. And if, they're, if they aren't, then you could just fix it and yeah. So firstly, the CPU is what every computer needs. It's basically the brain of the computer. You also need a CPU fan for it to work, which will cool the CPU down. And they're also important to run games, so you should try to get the best for your budget. And some of them also have integrated graphics, which do not require a graphics card. But it's more of like a temporary solution, unless they ever get better. The next thing that's important is the graphics card. It is helpful for all the visuals and the high frames, which also the price varies with those but it will also decide your game performance so be sure to pick the one that's right for your budget the next is the storage which stores like your files games photos videos the hard drive is the slowest but also the cheapest while the ssds are quick but more on the pricier side to hold all your components you need a motherboard when picking this out make sure that it's compatible with your cpu and other things also making sure that it also has things like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in case if you need that some motherboards may not have it and you may have to get all these adapters for that stuff and also making sure that it fits your case next powering everything is your power supply do not cheap out on this part and get a good rating and brand to prevent a risk of malfunction or even things like a fire Finally, the important part of your computer build is your PC case. You can get any, but make sure that it fits your whole computer and all your components. You also need RAM, which is basically the memory of your computer, which helps with the multitasking and all of, like the loads and stuff for your games, your software, etc. So you should consider getting 16. 8 is also viable, but 16 is like one of the best. And prefer getting 2 sticks of RAM instead of 1. The best ways to find PC parts for cheap is going on the used market. The used market is really not that bad as long as you do your research. Make sure that does not ask you for any sketchy payments going on places like maybe eBay, Mercari, or Facebook Marketplace. There's there's a lot of opportunities to find used parts, or even trying to buy it off of a friend. There can be also really good deals online from trusted sources. Just make sure that it could fit your budget, really. If you, as I said, if you need something that's strong, get something strong. If you need something that does the job, get something sort of mid or low tier. Yeah. So, there is a way how to get free PC parts, but how? You can look for things like storage, which is very easy to find. You can find them in old computers that you don't use, or even in ca old cable boxes. They may have a decent sized hard drive that you can take out and use for your machine. However, make sure that it is not really that old and sort of dying already. And also making sure that the thing is not used as a boot drive. Otherwise, 
it would be really slow and unreliable. Another thing that you can snatch from old computers is the RAM. You cannot snatch them from laptops because they use a different type of memory RAM. You also have to look at if it's compatible or not. Making sure that the RAM is compatible with your motherboard is the most important thing. Otherwise, you're just going to have trouble, you know, putting it in and also realizing that it does not work. You can also ask places like schools, tech shops, or even your friends and family if you can have, if they have any PC parts laying around. You can always ask them. Just make sure that you try to build the connection and also do not, like, beg for these parts and chances are you may get a really decent or good part also another thing is if any parts sort of either die or you know gets sort of old you can always replace them like computers you can always upgrade them parts that you should avoid is parts that aren't really compatible for your computer second is power supplies make sure that you do not get a really old power supply because getting them used can be very very risky and could cause problems down the line possibly destroying your parts in addition to that you also have to look on how old these parts are if they're really really old it you should not use them at all and also looking for some really small cases like these will not really fit certain components and you should probably upgrade that case and yeah so you have everything but you don't know what to do in this video there are no specific instructions on how to build the gaming computer because there are many existing videos showing how to build a computer so there is kind of no reason to however we are going to give you some things to be careful of when building make sure that you have a flat surface preferably a table to have your workspace on you can do it on the ground but you do not want to risk having to damage your part because of electric static discharge another thing is to make sure that your pins on your either your motherboard or cpu do not have any bent pins and also to be careful because one wrong move can just break the entire thing another thing is to make sure that you have like a screwdriver and also your windows 10 or 11 installation you can get that by you know making a media creation tool with like a spare laptop or something like that and yeah just make sure you're prepared now that we got that out of the way we're gonna build the gaming computer in time lapse also in addition to that we are also showing a few gameplays that we have with a few of the staff performances showing how they ran in certain environments and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So here we are, we got Windows installed and everything, or not really, we're installing it right now. 
everything works on this computer, which is nice. Uh, most of these cards I've given, some cards were I was given from the school, so everything should work fine. I did not expect Call of Duty to run on this at all, but here are the sort of performance of what it was and the average FPS it got, but yeah, I was so impressed. <clears throat> Hi, it's me, Warren Carroll, and I'm here talking about Tristan's Capstone Project. And even though I may not have a lot of experience with computers, it seems that even though I'm not really good at playing video games, that um, this computer worked very well and I had a really good time on it. Uh, thank you, Tristan, for letting me have the opportunity to do this. So here are um, Minecraft with shaders, uh, we used the Gamer Client, and the we're just messing around really. I don't know the exact presets we used, but here it is. So overall, I thought the performance was really good. I was impressed by how well this game was running. This is a pretty intensive game, and this computer was just absolutely crushing it. So I have to say that this is really good, and it just goes to show you can do a lot for cheap. So yeah, that really concludes the whole testing and building the computer. This computer has run really well and exceeded my expectations. However, what I would say is that this computer is mainly good for running the competitive games. However, its weakness is running the very demanding titles like Call of Duty and maybe if it did Elden Ring and all that those other high demanding games. And yeah, that's really it with this. It was a very awesome time having people test it out and also building this computer. And I really thank everyone for watching and also the people who provided me the parts. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.